Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to see another video of conservatives complaining that they aren't funny. Just look at these headlines that were satirical at the time we wrote them. On May 9th, 2017, we ran this headline. Two plus two equals four, insists close-minded bigot. That was a joke, of course. But on August 10th, 2020, the Washington Examiner published this story. Math professor claims equation two plus two equals four reeks of white supremacist patriarchy. Okay, his two plus two joke was so bad, you know, I kind of expected him to be like, please clap, I mean laugh. But anyway, then he cites the Washington Examiner, some paper we're supposed to trust, but it's really, really far right, you know. But anyway, I digress. It used to be that jokes were either funny or not. They made you laugh, or they didn't. But now, in the fact-checking age, we're giving them a truth rating. Jokes are no longer funny, they're false. And false information is dangerous. In response to the Snopes fact check, Facebook warned us that we'd be demonetized and deplatformed if we continued publishing fake news. It should go without saying that there's a big difference between fake news, which is meant to deceive, and satire, which is meant to entertain and inform through mockery, humor, and irony. But the left benefits by blurring this distinction. If they can successfully lump us in with fake news, then they can shut us down. It's that simple. These fact checks, which often smear us by suggesting we're purposefully misleading people, are nothing more than a creative, conniving way of justifying censorship. But why would anyone want to censor satire? Why is Facebook paying USA Today to write lengthy refutations of our jokes? Yes, they actually do that. So there you have it. You know, they're just allergic to fact checks. You know, they just want to lie to you, and then they want to say, oh, well, it was just a joke. It wasn't a lie. Please don't censor me. Because humor is ultimately a vehicle for truth delivery, and the truth can be offensive. Think about all the things you're not allowed to say anymore, not because they're false, but because they make people uncomfortable. Satire cuts right through the pretense and political correctness to expose uncomfortable truths, and it does so more ruthlessly and effectively than anything else. That's the thing. Humor doesn't just lead to truth automatically. Humor is just funny. That's it. You know, it can be used to lie as well as it can be used to tell the truth. And here's the thing, you know, Prager Universe, Prager U, it's not even a real university. And, you know, Dennis Prager has caught COVID and he's claiming he did it on purpose, which is kind of preposterous. And, you know, I was even thinking of making a few jokes, but, you know, I don't think I can. He's 73 and, you know, I don't think it would be appropriate. I'm just going to wish that Prager U starts telling the truth and I'll wish him a speedy recovery. Thank you. Have a nice day.